Hello everyone, it's Miss Connie from the Lebanon Public Library. Thanks for joining me. Are you ready to hear a story today? All right, let's wake up the book bunny. You know the words to help me say. Here we go. Book bunny, book bunny. It's time for story time to begin. Good morning, book bunny. Can you give everybody a wave? Can you wave back to the book bunny? He is so happy that you're joining us for a story today. Well, I'm gonna set the book bunny aside and then let's see what's inside the mystery box. You can sing the song with me. Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside the mystery box? Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside the mystery box? All right, let's take a peek inside the mystery box and see what our clues are today. Let's lift the lid off. Inside there are four objects. These objects are all part of a life cycle. Let's see what our first object is. It's very tiny and it's round. Can you see what that is? It's a tiny egg. The next object in the mystery box, it's not a worm. Let me pull it out and see if you can tell what it is. It's a caterpillar. The next object in the mystery box is a chrysalis. Sometimes in stories, they'll use the word cocoon, but this is a chrysalis. And our next object is something that comes out of the chrysalis. When it comes out, its wings are a little damp. They dry out and then it flies away. It's a butterfly. We're going to hear a story today about two friends. One is a butterfly or a caterpillar to start with, and the other one is a worm, and it's called Bob and Otto. You can see that our end papers are bright yellow. And here's that special page called a title page. Bob and Otto is the title of the book or the name of the book. Bob and Otto live out in this meadow near this great big gigantic tree. So there's Bob, he's the caterpillar, and there's Otto the worm. Once there were two very good friends, Bob and Otto. It was spring and everything was lively and exciting. These two very good friends spent each day digging in the ground, playing in the grass, and eating the leaves that fell from the old tree. But one day, Bob looked up. What do you think he's looking at? He's not really looking at the sky. He's looking at this gigantic tree. I need to climb this tree, he said. I want to see how the world looks from up there. Up there, said Otto, but it's so nice down here. When it's hot and dry, you can dig deep into the ground where it's cool and damp. And when it rains, you can come back up. Life is good just where we are. Why would you want to go up there? Because it's important, said Bob, and up the tree he went. It's important down here too, said Otto, and down into the ground he went. Bob climbed and he climbed and he climbed and he climbed until he was very high in the tree. Otto dug and he dug and he dug and he dug until he was very deep under the tree. These fresh green leaves are very tasty up here, thought Bob. So he ate and he ate 
and he ate until he felt quite sleepy. These old rotted leaves are very tasty down here, thought Otto. But still he dug and he dug and he dug until he felt quite sleepy. So Bob slept and he slept and he slept and he slept for many, many days and nights. Look, he's in the chrysalis. But Otto still dug and he dug and he dug and he dug and he dug some more. When Bob woke up, he was so full of joy he felt like flying. So he flew over and under and around every branch of the tree. Otto loved digging so much he dug over and under and around every root of the tree. Soon Bob realized how much he missed his old friend and all of the fun they used to have together. So down went Bob to find Otto. And soon Otto realized how much he missed his old friend and all of the fun they used to have together. So up went Otto to find Bob. And there they are. They're meeting each other on top of the ground. Otto says, hello, Bob. Hello, Otto. I like your wings. Thanks. So, Otto says, you can fly. Sure can, says Bob. Otto, why are you sad? Now, why do you think that Otto is sad? Do you think maybe he's sad because he hasn't turned into anything like Bob did? I'm sad because, said Otto, if I had climbed up the old tree with you when you asked me to, then maybe I would have grown big, beautiful wings like yours, and maybe I could fly. Look, he pictures himself with his warm body and the butterfly wings. But I didn't. All I did was dig and dig and dig and dig and dig some more. I'm still just a big, fat worm. No, you're not, said Bob. While you were digging, all I did was eat. And while you were digging, all I did was sleep. And while you were digging, all I did was fly around. But while you were digging, you loosened the soil so the roots could drink water, so the tree could grow tall, so the leaves would be green, so I could eat the leaves and grow wings. I owe it all to you, Otto, said Bob. You're not just a worm. You're my best friend. And friends are important. Thank you for joining me today for the story about Bob and Otto. I'll see you the next time. Bye.